is Jackie with TheCuttingEdgeCulture.com. I'm here with the boys of Goldfinger. We're here in D.C. Uh, this is the Summer of Ska Tour. Uh, how did the lineup get created and how do you, um, how do you decide who, who plays last each night? Jesus created it. Okay. Jesus, our Lord and Savior. He, a Buddhist, so Buddha created it. You might have read, heard about him from the Bible, the Holy Bible. Uh, uh, Kelly, are you saved? Have you been saved? Uh, so have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Now you got to understand that, you know, we... No, we, no habla. We're, we're really cool together. JC. No habla. You have JC on your... On your see, that's... It's my initials, too. Oh, there it is. No yeah. way. You're the Messiah. Just maybe uh, you... Maybe no, you're not. <laughs> Baker. Anyways, enough about religion. Let's cut to the shit. Who yeah, decided it? Can we, can we swear on this? Yes, okay. please. Shit. Um, <laughs> Fuck. Awesome. Oh, you That's... gotta go right for the bad ones. You can't e you can't angle into it. Bastard. There you go. Um, vagina. Oh, that's scientific. Anyways, um, <laughs> who decided? Who decides on who goes last? Well, we usually whine because we don't want to play last because <clears throat> we're old and sickly. I'm actually getting over a little sniffle. Um, yeah, if it's going around. HIVP. Everyone, excuse me. Um, now I can't get a date because lost too much weight. That's not cool, kids. It rhymes though. I know. It was a song I was working on. Oh. One. <laughs> but anyways, um, oh, here come some people. Come on up, Brian. It's Brian, guitar attack extraordinaire. Brian with the Y. Oh. You have to step around. Interview. Yeah. Step around. These guys are horrible. He used to. <laughs> he, he used to back when he was talented, playing a band called Authority Zero. You may have heard of. Okay. From Arizona. Hello. Also, a band called Last Action Series. We still haven't zero. answered our question. Uh, I don't know. The tour gets, uh, who goes on last? Well, it just, it just kind of flips back and forth. Like tomorrow, we'll probably go on last in New York and then back and forth. Whoever kind of feels the vibe. Whoever gets to the venue first. No. We let Real Big Fish go on last so we can be done earlier. So we can start drinking. I got, a, I got a bad hip, and Darren's got a, um, a prolapsed anus. So we can't stay up too late. Like, we have to be a, we have to be I'm that guy with the sunglasses on. Because <laughs> the rock star Cause right sun right. never sets in Coolsville, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, I forgot how to monitor. I, 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 I literally, I literally was guys. standing around in my underwear like five minutes before you walked on. It was all... That would have made it way he, more He was in his bunk taking now. a nap after he had a meal. And he had a finger in his ass. He was jerking off. That's and, you, and I call him and go, hey, let's do a wicked interview. He's like, yeah, totally. Uh, squirter. Oh! Booger picker. You sniffed it. That's not a good idea. You smelt it, dealt it. Anyways. Next question. Fruit loop. <laughs> Darren's fruit. Those are, some, those are some old school now, insults you're, you're slinging around back there. Because yeah, we don't have any new games. Fair enough. Neither do I. Grandpa game. You guys have been in the music scene for about 20 years now. Um, what's the biggest change you've noticed in the music scene, for better or worse? Uh, nobody pays for music anymore. But they still pay for concerts. That's about it. Now you have to go out and earn your money as opposed to sitting back and writing a song. Now you have to like, you have to write a song strictly to like try and get it in a movie, a commercial, or something of that caliber. Otherwise you gotta go out and tour. Which, if you know how to play, is great. If you're one of these auto-tune bands that doesn't, you just, um, Put your in ears on, play the backing tracks, and jump around a little bit, and the kids don't know the difference. But oh, that's a big change for me. What else is a big change? Well, that's change? probably a, is, that, is that a negative change? Guitar strings are cheaper. Drums are better quality. Um, but I would say that everyone thinks music's free now. Yeah, music. Uh, I don't think people value music like they used to, or or even video games or movies or yeah, TV shows. It's funny. People are ripping stuff on the internet all the time. It's, it's funny kind of because, and I'm gonna call people out because I'll probably be able to find those interviews later if they deny it. I remember when I first started playing with Goldfinger. I joined in '98, and people would ask us, "What do you think about downloading? Free downloading?" And I remember Charlie. No, not Charlie as much, but I remember you and John going. I think it's great. Free music's awesome. I take stuff all the time, and now everybody's all, and I'm just like, mm, I, I could have been more wrong. So that's where we're at with that, kid. So try and buy some, kids, right? Yeah, yeah do the right thing. I, I think illegal downloading is starting to slowly curve back into like people actually having a conscience again. I don't. And buying music. People are buying music. Uh, digital numbers are, are rising faster, very, like, than. 
at hard sales. Yeah, I think now it's like, well, in the past, even 10, 8 years ago, you would try and write an album, man. Now people are like, we're going to write like five to eight songs and try and, like, you don't do like, oh, that's an album track. Now it's like everything's got to be like kind of a single and y nobody does. Like, there's no filler anymore, which is kind of a good thing, which is maybe why people were like, you know, screw it. We're, you know, now you can download the songs. Like, remember, like, there was bands and some of them who I like, some of them I don't, who would do an album and their hit single would be, like this killer like super love ballad that was all over the FM radio and then you go get their re their record and, and every song will be like, like G -G 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 mean machine mean machine G -G 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 mean machine yeah i wonder who you're talking which about which i love which i like <laughs> but then you put on there you you go to like the singles like hey little girls love me I'm wearing a tutu, please love me. No, I like those guys. Every morning there's a hell of a thing in family. I like those guys. <laughs> but, and they know oh, we it love too. Sugar Ray. And they know, and if you notice, They're our buddies. No, it, but if, no, I like all those guys. They're fucking, you know, Mark's fucking cool, and I, I know Rodney a little bit. But anyways, um, um, but if you notice, though, after that, their records just all kind of went to the went light. Went bubblegum. Went to the light side. So, there's no more of this... You buy a record for that one song, and then it's the most returned album of that year because you're like, yeah, I just, this is the only song that sounds like that. Now you can go through and go like, I like that. that. One, yeah, I you can that cherry one, pick I the like good ones. One. So if you don't write a good record, fuck you. That's the way it is. So e EPs are king nowadays. Like yeah. Five songs, four songs. Yeah. So that's different, I think. So are you working on a new album or EP? Always and never. <laughs> that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Well, we have songs recorded. So there's like five or six songs recorded. We just have. We have like two. two albums worth of material that has been laying around of stuff that like was kind of like that didn't stick to the wall. Yeah. All or certain people put greased it and didn't want it to stick to the wall, or it didn't stick to the wall. There's a couple of songs that I'm like that should have went on a record. That should have went on a record, but it's nothing so obvious. But I mean, we could we could do like an odds and sods B sides for days. Yeah, we could do a whole hive of bees. That would probably end up happening because there is a lot of material that back in the day when we wrote it, we were like, ah, oh, that's not good to make the record. And now we listen to it and we're like, wow, that's fucking a great song. Holy or crap. most let's, of the songs. Let's record. Really let's re-record that, or let's let's work on that at least. Or that bridge is so gay, it's giving her. Let's make it gayer. <laughs> it's song that that bridge is so sweet. I'm getting cavities. You're so sweet. I get cavities, Kelly. <laughs> Great, now I have the hip. You touch so, me. other things that have changed since perhaps your band's inception is social media. Uh, unlike downloading. Oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah, that thing. How do you use social media to your advantage? I do a How lot. So? Uh, I tweet from Goldfinger's page all the time. I, I tweet on this tour from Goldfinger's page multiple times a day. Be excited who's coming. I send pictures from the show. Show us John. I think Kelly is the only one in the band without a Twitter account. But I'm not crazy right a, now. I have a Twitter account. I don't like Twitter. I have a Twitter Kelly. account. And <laughs> Dude, you're set up. To be honest. I'm a tweet for Kelly. I have smelly breath. That's your first tweet. And to be Welcome. honest, Darren isn't funny. That's my second one. <laughs> Darren, um, no, I just amended it. Is funny. To be honest, I don't want everybody knowing what the hell I'm up to. I like them to know what the band's up to, but I want to follow me, everyone. <laughs> just ate some corn. <laughs> Washed it down with some Red Bull. 45 minutes later, just took a poop. Corn's still there. Weird. <laughs> it's like, I don't give a fuck. Too many people tweeting too much shit. Everybody can fucking blow their tweets out their ass. But it's care. a great way to market something like a band or a tour or a new single. That is for sure. Album. Of course. So, you know, there, for are, band there, there it's is great. a side to social For media. band, it's great. I think it's like, I'm watching CNN today in the lobby and it's just like, and here comes Chaz. I'm watching CNN in the lobby, and it's like, war correspondent tweets Afghanistan uh, hotel uh, melee. Oh my god, there's people ah! shooting. You know, it's just like, more guys with beards shooting at me. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, thanks, Charlie. Charlie so that's, that's like, I mean, I mean, <laughs> that right there is trippy in its sense. Or... NBA guys, hey man, why you want to diss me like that? I'm gonna knock your teeth out. That's racist. I'm sorry. That wasn't stereotypical at all. Well, no, except for he was imitating Larry Bird. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> no, but there's how many guys have gotten into trouble, you know, oh, for shit. tweeting right. something stupid, not using the brand. Courtney Love's been sued a couple Kelly, times. Kelly, will you grab me one more of these so I don't have to come through yes. again? But, so social yeah, media is cool, things. but no. at the same time, with uh, social media more. comes there's social diseases. One. Well, I, I would agree that I like it's, it. I that like it's it a, a lot. great promotional tool, but when you're when you're in the example of giving a little too much detail on your personal day, I don't think. Well, like Courtney Love, she's been sued a couple times from from. Courtney some Love should be more than just sued. But she's just also Sorry. incredibly un unintelligent. Thank you. But then there's like some people that tweet Sorry. personal stuff that are really really funny. Like some people with senses of humor. Like I, I try to keep my, my tweets as funny as possible because I want people thinking it's humorous and they'll follow me and they'll keep coming back. So when it comes time for me to promote a Goldfinger single or a tour or a record or even stuff that I'm working on with my own label, people will be like, we'll take it seriously. Oh, Darren tweeted, let's read it, as opposed to skipping by it. So I just download there, it. There are a lot of people that tweet stupid shit, like, went to the mall today. I'm following a couple people um, that I think I might delete because they tweet just too much. It's like tweet, 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 it's tweet. Like, At the mall, saw a dress, saw a bird. I already did this a parking ticket. It's like, oh my god, shut up. That gets a little much. Um, all I was going to say is, as far as social media goes, though, now record labels look at how many friends bands have on Facebook. There's also ways to fake generate friends, too, I, I would assume. Oh, yeah, there's uh, tons of them. I'm sure there's so, newfound, new or what, you know, verb to the nouns got, you know, 30,000 followers of this demographic, and it's like, you know, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up Where'd with that? Where'd you get that? Oh, what's up? I've got special fans in DC. Oh, oh. can I rock it tonight? Yeah. No. <laughs> and he, and he even played. Even fit you. He even played Iron it. Maiden with him. I want to show the, the fans what you got. Oh, okay. The fans. I want to show the fan. That was mean. Yeah, that was mean oh to their radio God. station, dude. I was talking about us, not you. Oh, okay. I, you I was talking that. about us, I not you. <laughs> no, no, I was talking about Goldfinger. I was talking about Goldfinger. <laughs> the millions of people that love and watch your show will turn it off, is what he's saying, once they find out we're on. Yeah. Thanks, Charlie. No, that that yeah. shirt's pretty vicious, i got to say. <laughs> yeah. To hell with the demo! <laughs> Anyways, um, so that was that. And you mentioned a while back that uh, if you don't write a song that they can use in a They're movie or video game, <laughs> you, you have done those things. And we have? You have songs that are on Wait, video games or movie soundtracks. When? Way back when, I mean. Dude, Kelly, what was I told about this? Not recently. You're a drummer. Oh, okay. Sure. When do we go on? That's all you need to uh, know. 805. I know. Okay. There you go. So what are the benefits of doing stuff like that? Uh, more Doing people see you. It's like social media. It's, it's, you get it's, just, it? it's just regular media. But what happens if you don't like the film or the video game sucks? Um... Well, Somebody's gonna, I mean, you know. Grand, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is an iconic video game. It's not as good as Gran Turismo, but we, we said yes to Gran Turismo. But that's still a great racing game. Uh, at the end of the day, it just comes down to exposure. And if it's a video game about, about killing like people... Actually, then that's I, great. That's great. Because we're all for it. Actually, I would have put a song it's in... It's only it, simulated. Uh, in that's right. I, I put a song in Grand Theft Auto. I Nothing makes me feel better than simulated murder. Like, think about it. There are no bad video games. All video games are pretty rad, even if it's bad. It's like pizza. Just bad it's like The Sims. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. I just I don't even have a good comeback. I've never played it. I never have either. Okay. It's where but you build communities. It's really cool. You have right, money to work with and you generate like, more money. Like, why don't you live your I own suck life? at that in the real life. Why I would I want to pretend to do it? That's what bad? I said. Well, you practice. I'm putting my sunglasses back on. Is this, <laughs> are we in Coolsville again? No. Well, yes, speaking of always. Coolsville, some bands choose to re-release music on vinyl. Have you yeah. guys considered doing that? We're actually going to be releasing our first record on vinyl. We are? Through a Canadian company, yeah. Okay. You know that. Maybe. What are the benefits of doing that? You can, uh, DJs can scratch on it. Yeah. Here in your bu -bu 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 bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> waka 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 I, I know friends of mine that, that didn't even know what a record player was now are collecting vinyl. What? Yeah. You have friends that don't own a record player? I has? have friends. She has friends. fucking wrong. What are they? <laughs> you missed that one. What are they? She had it. What are they living in a cave? <laughs> friends. In Afghanistan? But yeah, like vinyl's massive. You go into a record stores now in Canada, I don't know about the rest of the country, but uh, but you go into stores and like there's vinyl right up front. And it's cool again. It's It went from like, vinyl's too big and too bulky to... The cassette. Well, cassettes are just weird and they wear out. Then a CD. Oh, it's digital. It's amazing. Now it's like, well, let's get bigger. Dude, you totally skipped A track. Fuck you. I did skip A track. And maybe A track will make a comeback. But A tracks didn't sound that good because it's yeah. reel to reel. So it's 
And you always had to put like a matchbook in there. Uh, uh, how old are you? Get to keep it. How old are you? I'll be 32 next month. Yeah, Moving on. Um, <laughs> next, you're going to the UK. We are. You are. Wow. <laughs> Someone better catch you up we're on going to the UK. Uh, we need a manager. No? No, I think, I think Real Big Fish is going to the UK. Oh, but you're not going? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. We hear about, let's, you know, let's pretend we are. We hear about. We actually so hear about tours uh, way too late, so we yeah. probably are going. Okay. Well, then, even if, if you're not going, what's up next? The show. Oh, I was gonna say. Finish this <laughs> tour. Let me ask Darren, Darren finish to this know tour without imploding. Okay. That's always good. We'll skid into the finish line and blow up. <laughs> 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 what's Your next? Last name Earnhardt. Sorry. That's oh. Too soon. Too soon. Is it too soon? I don't think it is. No. I mean, we're still making Titanic jokes. So. It's like a hundred years for that. Why did he get into the finish line? No, but he blew up when he roasted Maurice's oh, car. Oh, I was talking about the finish line. Finish the tour, and then John's got like got, got like, John's got a batch of songs. Like, we just gotta get get him nailed down because he's busy working on a bunch of different records. I'm so producing. he wants to nail John. Okay. I do. I've nailed John before. I was drunk, you know. It happens. You have a, it was cold. You drink a bottle of wine. You take a pill. Next thing you know, you're wrong. inside of a man. You know, it just happens. That's right. Next thing you know. It's not gay. It's you go to a frozen planet, you get hit by some, sp you know. <laughs> well, next thing you know, you're in a, in a tauntaun. <laughs> Speaking about experimenting, uh, our website merges charities and causes with entertainment. There's a segue for you. Enjoy that one later on. Uh, are there any causes or charities that you guys support? Yes, Goldfinger. You know what? The guy <laughs> that invented the segue died on the segue. Did you know that? God, I love that iron. He like, it's not awesome. weird. That's karma right there. You know there. what's really funny is DC used to be a swamp. Now it's the head of the US. Think about that one for a minute. Suck on that one. Um, causes? <laughs> I was going to say, that's my question. I'm really good at like going and satelliting the planet and coming back. Um, Do you like telling girls you don't know to suck it? Teachers. Suck on that one? Does what? it work? What are we talking about? You just told her to suck on that one for a while. Think about it. Wrap your mind around it, man. Dude, just let go and. Ex Are there any causes though? Uh, anything to do with music and, and getting musical instruments in kids' hands, I'm all for. And there's a couple of them in, in uh, Canada that do really well. Um, where because a lot of the um, schools in at least where I'm from, where where I live, or rather in Toronto and Ontario, um, they're cutting the arts classes. They're cutting the music classes because it's just not. Because Canadians suck at music. But it's also oh! happening. Oh! Looky, high five me! <laughs> it's also, it also happens. Come on, I'm just kidding. America Loverboy, well. Helix. And I actually have a way you can Glass help me Tiger. Out. And it's funny because it, it, if on. you look at historically, at schools that have art classes and music classes, the grade point averages are higher than the ones that don't. They got money. Are they high. cut those. They stimulate the creativity. Arts, the arts stimulate always creativity, get cut. The, gra the grades go up, but the, the the bureaucracy is like, oh, it's what? It's art. It's it's music. Screw it. So anytime we can keep we can keep musical instruments in the schools and keep art in schools, and I'm all. For I just that. shaved a kid's head for the you know that and music, cats with AIDS. Music for cancer. I did a um, thing up in uh, Quebec. Um, we you paid money and get to have Goldfinger shave their head. And we did that and. Um, um, it'd be pretty cool to see a cure for that crap because I think they have one. I just think the pharmaceutical companies are making too much money hand over fist to like allow that money not to keep coming in. So, dude, I just started a pharmaceutical company. Why are you fucking dissing my business? Well, we'll fight about it some more in just dude. a minute. This is Jackie with the CuttingEdgeCulture.com.